this is not something that I do regularly is really talk about the death of somebody I've never met. But I feel like I need to talk about this. And I heard about this a couple hours ago when I've been trying to figure out the best thing for me to say and I just can't. <laughs> so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna speak from the heart here. <sighs> um a major part of the the soundtrack of my life is the music of Tower of Power. <laughs> They of the of the legendary horn section and the the great songs, the great soul. Um, and just heard the the architect, one of their founding members of that horn section, passed away today. Michelet is uh, well was now he was for a long time um played uh, lead brass trumpet and trombone and his just the muscular sound that he got out of his instruments is just such a major part of that that tower of power sound um and uh the first time i ever saw them in concert the first time i ever saw them in concert back in uh, 2010 i believe it was uh it was at the the sea breeze uh jazz festival down in panama city It was me and my dad. Um, and uh, Mick was, he, he had rejoined the band for a short time during that time. And I was blessed to be able to see one of those shows. And I remember they played a they played a an instrumental tune off of an album called Urban Renewal. The tune was called uh, Walking Up Hip Street. And uh, something they used to do back in the day. They don't really do it that much anymore. It's just sort of let the guys in the band show off. And they did that night and and I remember Mick played a trombone solo that was like, it was like butter. It, it was like, it was like soft butter. And it, wow, <laughs> it, it was, it was gorgeous. It, it, it really was. And, um, I think probably what I'm going to remember him most about is was really the first hit the Tower of Power ever had. And it has really become like the the theme song. It really become one of my theme songs. And, and I will absolutely have this played at my funeral. But the song is called You're Still a Young Man. And they dedicate it every time they play it. And they still play it every show. But it's dedicated to the to the friends of Bill W, which 
for those who don't know, uh, Bill Wilson was the founder of Alcoholics Anonymous. And several of the guys in the band uh, had addiction problems and are in recovery thanks in no small part to to uh, 12 step programs and uh, it just reminds me that no matter how physically old I feel that I'm still a young man and the introduction to that song I and but I, I kind of got myself sidetracked a little bit here but the introduction to that song is arguably the five most important notes a trumpet has ever played on a rock and roll record and I'm not exaggerating on that I will link in the description to this video to a recording uh, to a YouTube video rather of that song so you can hear what I'm talking about but those five notes were played by Mick Gillette from day one oh man this one hurts this one freaking hurts man I normally don't get this bit out of shape about deaths of people that I've never met but this one hurts he was my dad's age he, he was he was he was dad's age and All I got to say is the horn section in heaven just got a hell of a trumpet player. Mick, rest well. Brass will always kick ass. <laughs>